who do we have here? Oh, we have Renee Zellweger. I have Margot Robbie here. Scarlett Johansson right here across my left bosom. The story behind this suit goes back to February 2020. I was lucky enough and surprised to receive both a BAFTA nomination and an Academy Award nomination. And after the initial surprise and exhilaration, my, my next thought was, oh my God, what am I gonna wear? So this white suit started out as what's called a toile, which is the pattern. And I decided what better way of, of recycling and reusing is to wear the actual pattern of the suits from the year before. And then I realized I was wearing a blank canvas and what an opportunity that would be to actually use it for something. And I thought, I know, I'm gonna get people to sign it. At the same time, I was involved in a project to help raise money to purchase Prospect Cottage, which was the house that Derek Jarman, the maverick filmmaker, artist, and gardener, it was the house that he bought and was a sort of hub of creativity and activity. It was where he wrote books, it was where he did paintings, and it was where he worked on his films. Now, Derek Jarman was the first ever director I worked with. And so it was a, a campaign close to my heart to save and purchase this house that will then be turned into residency for young creatives, for young artists, writers, gardeners, filmmakers, whoever, to actually go and have somewhere to work. The idea was for me with the suit initially just to sort of get the suit signed and then put it up for auction. What actually happened during the award season, which was about six weeks in total, I actually ended up going to the BAFTAs award ceremony, the Oscars, the Critics' Choice, and plenty of other sort of cocktail -y events whereby I would accost actors, directors, filmmakers, get them to sign the suit, and at the same time photograph them. And what I was doing was every time I got a new signature and a photograph, I'd post that on Instagram. And evidently every time that happened, the donations would go up. It was making the campaign visible. I got over 200 signatures and I had one of the best times I've ever had. I mean, an important one here is Tilda Swinton because Tilda Swinton, like me, was a, a novice when she met Derek Jarman. We both worked on our first film together, which was Caravaggio with Derek. I have Robert De Niro down here. There are over 200 signatures. I was a little bit nervous about it being auctioned simply because I, it became part of me. It was mine. I was very possessive about it. Like I'm possessive about my work. And I was a little worried about auctioning it and it disappearing. But when I found out that Edwina Dunn actually made the purchase, for the female lead, I was just thrilled. My dream for the suit would be that it can continue to work for good cause. I mean, that it can continue to raise awareness for the female lead. If I can use this to help others, then it's sort of passing on, it's giving back, it's what we should all be doing. I hope that young women and girls reading the stories about all of the people in, in the female lead book are sort of inspired, inspired to sort of follow their dreams and, and believe that actually they're capable of anything. We all are capable of anything. You've just got to believe in yourself, whatever anybody says to you. My name is Sandy Powell and this is The Female Lead. We rise by lifting others. <laughs>